Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing exactly how Heath left The Walking Dead, as the answer to the Heath mystery has been recently confirmed. With that being said, major warning and spoilers for everything in the show up to episode 905, and let's jump right into this. Okay, so during an episode that I didn't really mind during season 7, it was just kind of poorly placed, most people hated it, Tara and Heath went out further than ever before to scavenge for like two weeks or so. Heath disappears, Tara ends up getting washed down the river to Oceanside, and that whole story starts. By the end of the episode, when Tara makes it back across the bridge where she got split up from Heath originally, she finds the RV gone, and instead there's a small card that she picks up with the capital letters PPP on it. Now apparently PPP stands for very very soft or whisper when it comes to reading music. The original theory was that Heath was kidnapped by the whispers, and that we wouldn't see him until seasons 9 or 10. So I'll have the links to the articles in the description, but now it appears to be confirmed that Jadis kidnapped Heath and traded him to the helicopter group for food and supplies. The RV that she was in during episode 905 was apparently the same RV that Heath had with Tara. Also, we could see a helicopter pad in the background of the junkyard when Rick went to up, 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 but apparently it's revealed that Heath's RV was there as well. That's cool, but did they put that there intentionally or are they just running with it? We've had theories about the helicopter pad for a while, but we thought it was pretty out there for Jadis to be controlling a helicopter. Now we know she's not actually controlling it, she just has a deal with a group who does use a helicopter. Still, was Heath's RV actually placed behind Rick in the junkyard on purpose? That's pretty crazy if it was, but then why did Tara find the PPP card that hints at it being the Whispers? It's almost like they left two options open for themselves so they could decide which one it was going to be. It would make sense why Heath would have just driven off away from Tara though because he was probably held at gunpoint by Jadis and told to drive just like what Jadis did to Father Gabriel halfway through season 7 when she kidnapped him. And I suppose she only kidnapped Heath a few episodes before Father Gabriel so Heath could have told her about where Alexandria was. But still, if Heath was taken by Jadis, why was there that PPP card left for Tara to imply that it was the Whispers? This tells me that they didn't originally have it planned, they're just making it up now, they just had it as an open option in case they wanted to bring him back during the Whispers story arc, possibly Whisper himself, although they speculated on Rick Grimes leaving the show before in season 7 and 8. I don't really think that they thought this far ahead, but they could have because apparently they considered Rick leaving the show during season 8, and that helicopter might have swooped down to pick him up under the tree during the season 8 finale, but it didn't, so that's why it seemed underwhelming, but they had the helicopter speculation in their minds ever since season 7 and 8, which is why they put the helicopter pad in the background of the junkyard on purpose to keep their options open. Let me know what you guys think about the PPP card and what their original intentions were, but regardless, this is what they're going with now, I guess. If Father Gabriel took all their food and ran off on his own accord, or if he was forced to. I imagine they probably offered Heath's actor a role in the movie, so he probably said yes to knock two birds out with one stone. Not only does he get to be featured in the first ever Walking Dead movies alongside Rick Grimes, which would be great for his career, he wants to be in movies after all, he'll get the opportunity to conclude the story of Heath's character without having to sign back on and become a regular cast member on the show again. Heath's actor didn't want to be tied down to The Walking Dead as he wanted to be in the Straight Outta Compton movie along with starring in the TV show 24 Legacy even though that was cancelled just after one season. I understand that Heath's actor wants to boost the list of projects he's been a part in. He doesn't want to get held down by being some background character in The Walking Dead even though it is a really hot TV show but I guess Heath wasn't that huge of a character so it never really mattered all too much. Much, but it was still kind of disappointing at the time. Heath is one of the original Alexandrians, he's still alive in the comics. Although he's normally a background character who would go on supply runs and whatnot, he's still a good guy and he was useful to the story. He kind of reminds me of Glenn as far as character traits go. And in All Out War, he had a very emotional story arc because he was dating Denise the Doctor of Alexandria instead of Tara, which is kind of funny when you think about it since they had that whole episode together. In one universe Tara dated her, in the other universe Heath dated her, but anyways, Heath had his legs blown off by a grenade in All Out War when Negan attacked and blew up Alexandria, and Denise was bitten in the arm, but instead of getting her arm amputated to survive, she sacrifices herself in order to save Heath because she wouldn't be able to attend to Heath's blown off legs and stop the bleeding and whatnot if she was in the middle of getting an arm amputated herself. Heath recovered, and he sat by her bed until the moment that she died 
died, it was a tragic gesture of love, and it's probably one of my favorite moments of All Out War from the comics. Since Heath wasn't in the show at the time, they obviously never did this, but they didn't even remix that story with any other characters. The whole time leading up to Negan's Alexandria attack, I was predicting what couple would get the Heath-Denise moment, but it didn't end up happening to anyone. So with that being said, could they save that for the movies? Maybe Rick meets up with Heath, who's now in a relationship with a doctor, and then they get in some sort of altercation where she's forced to save his life over hers. He'd have to live with it, and it'd be a great moment for his character in the movies. Let me know what you guys think of all of this down below, but that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, as it really helps me out more than you can imagine. Feel free to subscribe for more Walking Dead content in the near future, and if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support the channel, consider checking out my Patreon as well. Also, follow me on Twitter too, link to both of those in the description. I'm fairly active on Twitter even when I'm not posting videos, and I'm always retweeting everything I can involving the Walking Dead universe. But anyways guys, as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!